First, you make an arched shape, followed by a diagonal line. Make a small triangle, which will be his beak. Then a short straight line and a curved line connecting that other line. Then you have a straight line and a big J shape, and then connect those lines together. Make your circle for his eye, and then an L shape with a diagonal line, another L shape with a diagonal line for his feet. The floating ice piece is a wavy line, followed by another wavy line. There's our penguin floating on our ice. Now I'm going to add some fish. Just follow along with the different types of lines. Or you can make your own fish. Voila! Add your colors! Then you'll be ready to start cutting out your penguin and your fish. Next, we want to add our background for a penguin and our fish. We're going to start with a wavy line. It's a U-shaped line that goes across the paper. Continue that U-shaped line or wavy line on the bottom half of your paper, maybe with a dark blue color or press down hard to create a darker value. Then I'm going to get a lighter blue or press lightly to create a lighter value and I'm going to fill in my wavy lines, which represents my ocean waters. Next, I'm going to add my cloud shape. It's going to be curvy lines going to make my clouds with my curvy lines in my sky. Next, I'm going to start filling in my sky with a light pink color, or you can choose your other color. And I'm going to color lightly, a very light value, all over the top part of my paper. But I'm being careful not to color in over my clouds because I want my clouds to stay white adding a sunshine that's peeking out through the clouds, adding the rays of the sun. Take your cutout penguins and fish, place them on your background, arrange them however you'd like, and then you can take that handy dandy glue stick, glue your pieces down, and then voila, You've got your penguin artwork. I had fun making mine. I hope you have fun making yours. See you next time.